It's an honor to be a part of this historical economic development announcement that will have a positive impact on our community, our region, our state, and our world. Every economic development effort requires a tremendous amount of teamwork. What makes our region unique is that our team often transcends geographical boundaries and even today international datelines. Right now in Paris, France, Huntsville leaders standing in the Made in Alabama booth at the Paris Air Show are making the same announcement. Today we are proud to announce plans to initiate a series of preliminary studies to assess the feasibility of landing Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser spacecraft at the Huntsville International Airport. Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser is a multi-mission capable space utility vehicle able to flexibly operate in an independent, as an independent science platform, logistics enabler, or orbital servicing vehicle. The Dream Chaser spacecraft is proposed by the Sierra Nevada Corporation in the current NASA competition to supply cargo to the International Space Station. Sierra Nevada also plans to operate the vehicle on other missions tailored to a variety of U.S. and international customers. The preliminary studies will assess environmental factors such as airspace, traffic flow, potential impacts to commercial air traffic, and the compatibility of the Dream Chaser spacecraft with the existing runway and taxiway environments at the Huntsville International Airport. As a community, we work together as one for the benefit of all. We have established a strong coalition, including the City of Huntsville, Madison County, the City of Madison, Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce, Teledyne Brown Engineering, the State of Alabama, the University of Alabama Huntsville, and the Huntsville Madison County Airport Authority. While members of our coalition are in Paris making the same announcement to international industry representatives and media, we are fortunate to have several members of our coalition here today. They are excited to share their perspectives on the Dream Chaser project. We will hear from them in order. Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle, Madison County Commissioner Steve Haraway, President of the Madison City Council Tommy Overcash, and Butch Roberts, the Deputy Director of the Huntsville International Airport. Mr. Mayor, would you please join me at the podium? Thank you, Rose, and thank you to all you early morning people who are out there this morning. Um, you know, this is a very exciting thing for the city of Huntsville uh, and for the Huntsville area, for Madison, for Madison County, and for the whole Tennessee Valley, because we've always been on the forefront of the aerospace industries. Now we have an opportunity to continue our role as a global aviation leader by securing rights for the first public airport to land an orbital vehicle on the same runway where commercial airline, airline flights land and take off. As Rose said, this is an incredible economic opportunity for our area. Think of the possibilities for our companies located here. United Launch Alliance and its Atlas rocket built in Decatur, for Marshall Space Flight Center, for UAH, for Hudson Alpha, and that's just a few of them. The Dream Chaser can ferry cargo to the International space, si space System. It can also serve as a standalone science platform for low Earth orbit, and it, it can also land right here at the Huntsville International Airport. It can also serve as a platform for taking satellites back into space, capturing satellites that are in space and bringing them back for repair. And it can allow an immediate access to sensitive science being returned from space. Uh, I'm reminded about this opportunity that it wouldn't be possible without a lot of partnerships from people who have come before us. The teamwork that has happened before us, the team work that was the vision for Redstone Rockets, for the Marshall Space Flight Innovations, and for Huntsville to build an international airport with runways to land the biggest planes on the planet. All this is possible because leaders in this area had a vision and the willingness to step up and make it happen years and years ago, we stand on their shoulders. 
The City of Huntsville is honored to join this coalition of partners here today and do our part to help fund a series of studies that could land the Dream Chaser at Huntsville International Airport. The Dream Chaser gives us many, many commercial opportunities and possibilities of industries that will happen in the future. And that, that starts today with these studies. Thank you for being part of this. Steve. Thank you, Mayor Battle. And on behalf of Chairman Strong and uh, my Madison County Commission District 2 office, we're honored to be a part of this announcement with Sierra Nevada and the Dream Chaser program. This is another milestone in the exploration of space travel that has come from Madison County. And I'm honored to be a small part of the great opportunity for Huntsville International Airport to become one of the landing sites for Dream Chaser. My longtime friend Lee Jankowski, who is the Space Station Mission Operation Deputy Program Director at Tuttledown Brown, called, called me and told me I have an idea and need your help. This is not the first time Lee has called and made that statement, which usually involves a large amount of money needed at some point. He told me Tuttledown Brown was working with Sierra Nevada on their bid to win the competition to supply cargo to the ISS and wanted to see if we could get Huntsville International as an approved landing site for this program. As with many of the pro projects that Lee and another friend of ours, Howie Lester, and I have worked on together, I told him to count me in and let's all get started and get the stakeholders together to make this happen. We had multiple meetings with all the members here today, Huntsville City, Madison County, Madison City, Madison City, Madison County, State of Alabama, UAH, Huntsville International Airport, and Huntsville Madison County Chamber from the local governments, with Sierra, also with Sierra Nevada, Teledyne Brown, and RSNH, who are the design and implementation partners. This has been a close to a year-long project to get to this point. After phase one of the study has been completed and the second phase will be to acquire the re-entry license from the FAA that will allow Dream Chaser spacecraft to land at Huntsville International Airport. This will allow missions from space or the International Space Station that need to go to Marshall Space Flight Center or companies like Hudson Alpha to be delivered in a more timely manner. I'm extremely excited about this project being that Huntsville International is located in District 2 and Madison County has been involved from day one. I'd like to thank some people, and I'll go through a list, it'll take me just a minute that's been a part of this. I'd like to thank John Roth and John Olson from Sierra Nevada and their whole Dream Chaser team, who along with Jan Hess, John Horak, Mark Gretkowski, and Lee Jankowski and the rest of the Teledyne Brown team, and Brian Gulliver and the RS and H team, and Taz Morell and the Morell Engineering team. Also, thank you to Mayor Battle, along with Shane Davis, Harrison Diamond, and the rest of the Huntsville City team, Mayor Trulock, Council President Tommy Overcash and the Madison City Council team, Rick Tucker, Barbie Peak, and Huntsville International Airport team, Chip Cherry and the Huntsville Madison County Chamber. Each person that I've mentioned today has played some role in making the Dream Chaser landing in Huntsville a very near reality. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Good morning. On behalf of the uh, City of Madison, the Mayor's Office, and the Madison City Council, we're proud to participate with these other find uh, organizations in North Alabama to hopefully help make this uh, a possibility of landing the dream catcher at the Madison County Airport. We're uh, proud to support the space industry. The Tennessee Valley has a thriving space industry. The citizens of Madison support uh, many NASA programs, the SLS program, ULS, and uh, now the commercial space flight program. The citizens of Madison are proud to be able to participate and hopefully one day call the Huntsville-Madison County Airport a spaceport. Thank you all. I'd just say on behalf of the airport authority, wow, what an opportunity. Not many, not many airports in the United States has this opportunity and we're really excited. And with this team, I, I don't see why it can't happen here in, right here in Huntsville. And on behalf of the airport, we're committed to make it happen and do whatever it takes and look forward to the future. Thanks. Thank you all for sharing your um, perspectives with us on this very exciting opportunity for our community. And what a great addition to the collaborative ecosystem that we've already developed here in North Alabama. Uh, in addition to our local leaders, which have just spoken, we have representatives from Sierra Nevada and Teledyne Brown Engineering here that will also be available to answer any project related questions. Christopher Allison, systems engineer with Sierra Nevada. Uh, Corporation Space Systems and Mark Gretkowski, Executive Vice President 
of Strategic Business Development and Acquisitions at Teledon Brown. So as we conclude today, all our speakers and our representatives from Sierra Nevada and Teledyne will all be available to answer any questions that you may have. A full media kit will be posted on the Chamber website and will be available for download um, as we conclude. So thank you all for joining us for this exciting announcement and please have a very nice day. Thanks. <laughs>